What's up guys, it's your boy, CDK. Something you may or may not already know is that different parts of the world play different versions of Melee. While North America and Japan play a version of Melee called the NCSC version, Europe and Australia play a version known as the PAL version. So despite the fact that the European Smash scene has multiple majors a year, including the Beast series in Sweden, Air in the UK, and Battle Arena Melbourne in Australia, there's still confusion among many spectators and players regarding the differences between the NTSC and PAL versions of Melee. Because of this, I figured it'd be a good idea to make a tutorial describing some of the more obvious and notable character changes from NTSC to PAL. Although there are a lot of small, minute changes in a lot of other characters that aren't mentioned in this video, this tutorial will only be covering some of the significant character changes that were made. One of the main changes for Captain Falcon is that he can gentleman automatically. In NTSC, Falcon may struggle with doing the gentleman because they have to do the three jabs with strict timings in order to avoid doing the rapid jabs afterwards. In PAL, all you have to do is hit A three times. This means that applying shield pressure or comboing off of Falcon's gentleman is significantly easier since you don't have to time anything. One nerf to Captain Falcon is that his weak knee does less damage and doesn't combo as well as it does in NTSC. In NTSC, Weak knee almost always combos into up air or strong knee. In PAL, that isn't the case because weak knee has worse knockback and doesn't pop people up as high. Unfortunately for all you Falco mains out there, your character was nerfed pretty significantly. Late down air is no longer a spike and instead knocks people up and away. This means that gimping people with sour spot down air is no longer a quick and easy kill option. In order for Falco to use his spike to kill, his down air must be timed so that the sweet spot hits. On top of this, Fox can tech out of Falco's down throw in PAL, which makes it harder to combo into Shine, since Fox isn't forced to stay close to Falco after his down throw anymore. Next, we'll be talking about the ways Fox got screwed over by PAL. In short, Fox was nerfed heavily in terms of survivability, recovery, and kill power. In PAL, Fox is lighter, which means he can die from hits a lot earlier than he would in NTSC. Up Smash is noticeably worse. It deals less damage and has lower knockback. This makes it a much less effective kill move compared to Fox's NTSC Up Smash. Last but not least, Fox's Up B in PAL travels less distance than his Up B in NTSC. Despite this, Fox's Up B is still better than Falco's Up B in PAL. For whatever reason, Sakurai and his development team decided that the Great King of Evil also needed a nerf. Forward air is much weaker in terms of knockback. Because of this, back air is an overall better move for Ganon, in neutral and for killing. Marth is slightly slower in the air and weighs less in pound, which is important because this weight difference is the reason why he gets knocked down by Fox's shine. As a result of this, Wave Shine combos into Grab or Up Smash don't work on Marth like they do in NTSC. It also means that he can tech Shine Spikes when recovering. While this could be considered a buff to Marth, he was also nerfed. In PAL, his down air was changed from the spike that we all know and love to a simple Meteor Smash that's similar to Captain Falcon's down air. Because of this, European Marth players go for the European Ken combo. Instead of forward air to down air, they opt to do forward air to reverse up B for their kills. Out of all of the characters that have been nerfed, one could argue that Sheik was nerfed the hardest. Her down throw, which allows her to chain grab several characters and combo into kill moves on almost all of the casts, was changed dramatically. Basically, Sheik's down throw launches people too far horizontally, which makes it impossible to combo or chain grab with it. As a result of this, the threat of getting grabbed by Sheik at high percents is pretty much gone because her down throw doesn't lead into any of her kill moves. At low percents, Sheik can still sometimes land a dash attack, but most of the time, the only option she has is to tech chase. Overall, Pal Sheik has a really hard time killing people because she can't do her typical down throw forward air or down throw up air combos that she does in NTSC. To make matters worse, Sheik's up air is also significantly weaker in terms of knockback and doesn't kill off the top very early. But it keeps the opponent guessing, right? Right. Up air will not KO in Pal. That is a much weaker move. Puff smiling, he's like, yep. <laughs> Forgot about that. That's not a KO move anymore. On the other hand, this makes her up air into a pretty cool and effective combo tool. And there you have it. These are, in my opinion, the most important character changes in PAL. 
Just please remember that this video doesn't contain all of the character differences. There are a bunch of other small changes for characters that I didn't even mention. If you're curious and would like to learn more about all of the differences, there's a link in the description box leading to the wiki page. In the last video I did, a lot of you guys argued over whether reads or reactions are better for tech chasing. Some of you argued that a mix of both reads and reactions is necessary. I personally agree with this position and think that having a mix of the two is best. For this video's comment wars, I want to know what PAL character changes do you think are the best and worst? Which character buff made the most sense? Which character nerf do you think was the most uncalled for? I have my own answers to these questions, but I'm curious to know what you all say in the comments. Now, before we go, Kellen's got another fun video on his channel called What If Netplay Was In Person, so be sure to check that out. Again, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any of our content. See you next time.